What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and today we're covering more of Microsoft Windows by discussing how to hide or show items in the taskbar or the system tray icons. So here we are with the Lenovo Flex 5i that I picked up yesterday. This is a nice budget two-in-one convertible and I want to simplify things so I already went ahead and removed unwanted programs but then I took a look at the taskbar and I realized there were items there that I didn't want there because it just looked a little bit cluttered. And while investigating this, I realized that I could also remove icons from the system tray icons. So if you're watching this content, you probably want to remove or add items yourself. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how to do this. So we're going to start things off by going right to the taskbar and right clicking on it. And this is going to display a pop-up menu and we have two options. The first is task manager and taskbar settings. And that's interesting by the way, if you're looking for a quick way to access task manager, this is something I didn't know, but you can find it here. But moving on, we wanna select taskbar settings. And this is going to open a new page titled taskbar. Now there are two items that I do wanna remove in the taskbar. First is the search and then the chat icon. That being said, we're going to focus on the first category here, taskbar items, and we're going to have the first item that I do want to remove, the search. And if we click on the drop down menu, we're going to have options of hide, search icon only, search icon and label, and we'll run through these. So let's click on search icon and label. And as I'm doing this, by the way, take a look at how changes are made in that taskbar. You can see that it tucked that search and it just made it a bit more simple. Let's click on that drop down menu again and we'll click on search icon only. You can see it made it even more simple. Now I do want to hide it completely and that's the last option. So again, we're clicking on that drop down menu and I'll click hide and search is hidden which is good because I don't use it all that much. Moving down here, we're going to have Copilot in Windows Preview. Interesting enough, that's all the way to the far right in the taskbar, and you can turn that off. So I'm going to click on that, and you'll see that it's now disabled. But I'm going to enable it again because I do want to use that. I am experimenting more with AI, and Copilot is actually pretty good. Moving on, we're going to have Task View, and that's in the middle here, it's towards the middle. And it is enabled, so I can disable it, and that's hidden, but I think I actually do want that enabled. I'm not really sure. Actually, I like that it's more simplified, but I'll leave it on for the time being. Next, we're going to have widgets, and for this one, you wanna to look to the very far left of the taskbar. You can see that we have the weather over there, and if I click on the slider for the widgets, which is enabled right now, it will disable it and it hides that widget. So that's where that change takes effect. I do like having those widgets there, so I'm going to enable it. And then we have the last item chat, which is an item that I do wanna disable. Again, I don't use it all that much and right now it's enabled. So if I click on that slider, it's going to disable it and it's hidden, that gives us more retail space in the taskbar. So this section is very helpful if you're looking to hide those items and you don't want them as well. Moving on, we're going to have our next section. I'm going to scroll down here just a little bit so we can get a better view. It's titled System Tray Icons. And like the taskbar, just take a look at the System Tray icon section and see how these changes take effect. You'll either see items be removed or items added or you won't see any changes because it doesn't apply right now. So for example, pen menu. Right now it's enabled, it's on, but we don't see a pen menu. So that's probably why, because we're not actually using a pen. We could disable it, but you won't see any changes take effect. So I'm going to enable that for the time being. Next, we're going to have touch keyboard. Right now it's set to when no keyboard attached, so there is no touch keyboard showing. But if we click on the drop down menu, we can select always and it's going to show a touch keyboard in the system tray icons. We can also click on that drop down menu again and select never and it's not going to show there. But I'm going to set that back to when no keyboard attached because that's actually useful to have. 
it's probably going to show when we actually fold the Lenovo Flex 5i into tablet mode or kiosk mode. Next, we're going to have virtual touchpad and that's disabled. But if we click on the slider, we can enable it and you'll see a virtual touchpad show in the system tray icons. But I'm going to disable it for the time being. Now, the section that I think is going to really help me out here, again, the goal is to remove or add icons in the system tray icons. That section is going to be other system tray icons. And there's a down arrow to the far right. If we click on it, it's going to expand that section. So first we're going to have hidden icon menu. And if we look at the system tray icons, it's the arrow that's pointing up. You can see that it says show hidden icons as we hover over it. And if we click on it, it's going to show our hidden icons. Now you can turn that off with this item here. So if we click on the slider, it's going to disable that. It's going to give it a cleaner appearance, but you won't be able to see those hidden items. So I'm going to turn that back on because it's actually useful. Now the next item, I do want to remove Microsoft OneDrive. I don't use it all that much. It's just taking up space. So I'm going to turn it off. And that's going to simplify that system tray icons. Next, we're going to have Bluetooth devices. I do want to add that. Interesting enough, it's enabled now because I just enabled it, but if I disable it, it's going to show in the hidden icon menu. I just like it to be more visible though, so I'm going to turn that on. Next, we're going to have Task Manager. And if I click on that, there's not going to be any change there. It's not showing here in the system tray icons or the hidden icon menu, as you can see. Not showing there at all. But I'll leave that on as I experiment. You can also add an icon for Google Chrome, but I'm going to skip over that. We can add an icon for Microsoft Phone Link. Now, I do have an icon for Microsoft Phone Link in the taskbar. But knowing this, I'm going to probably remove it from the taskbar because I'm going to enable it now and now it's in the system tray icons. So something to keep in mind, you can simplify the taskbar if you add some icons into the system tray icon section. Next, we're going to have safely remove hardware and eject media. And I think that's going to be useful, so I'm going to enable that. Now you'll see no changes in the system tray icons, and that's because we don't have any hardware to remove or eject at the moment. So I think all of this is situational. Now if I had hardware in there, we might have an icon show there. That would make sense. Next we're going to have Windows Security Notification icon. So if we go to the hidden icon menu and click on it, it's going to be this one that looks like a shield. So it's already there, but you might want it more visible, which is why you may want to enable it. And now it's showing there all the time. Then we have Windows Update Status. Similar situation here. If we go to the hidden icon menu and click on that, it's going to show here. But I do want it more visible, so I'm going to click on the slider and enable it. And lastly, we're going to have Media Monkey 5. Now this is an application that I downloaded myself. It's a music player for serious collectors as it's advertised. But I totally recommend it. It allows you to edit your metadata and just edit your whole library and customize it how you want it. Again, totally recommend it but I wouldn't put it in the system tray icons section, just my personal taste there. Now, there are other things you can do beneath this, like taskbar behaviors. If you click on the down arrow, you can expand that and you can make changes to the taskbar. I'm not going to run through this in detail, but you can do things like automatically hide the taskbar. So if I enable that by clicking on the box, it's going to hide the taskbar. This is a bonus I'll throw in the video here. It just gives you more retail space for the application that you're working in. You get to see more of the application. But if you do want to see your taskbar, simply take the arrow and put it towards the bottom of the display and the taskbar will show as well as the system tray icons. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out.